have been about 15 people in the room. And the managing editor asked me a question. He said, last year, I went with HBO uh, to a Mayweather fight, because HBO then was distributing the Mayweather Bay Review. He says that I must say I was very disappointed because there was no pizzazz with the event. He said, in the NFL and in the NBA, you see a significant championship match and there's singing and there's all kinds of excitement surrender, sur surrounding the event. But in boxing, at least watching this promotion, there was nothing. It could have been held back in the 1950s and 1960s. And I said, you know, you're right. But that's the way other people promote the sport. We at Top Rank promote it differently. We realize it's an event. So you will see in a top rank fight, particularly in a major top rank fight, the way this is, a spectacular show. Between fights, dancers come into the ring. A lot of fire displays. A lot of displays from the, the lighting. It's a real show. It's something where somebody sees the fights and says, boy, I've been entertained. Now, you can be a purist, and the guys who cover NFL covering a Super Bowl are purists. And they can say the game this, the game that, this team did this, that team did that. But they're always going to say, what a spectacular show, because it is. And we in boxing at top rank do the same thing. Now that doesn't mean that in the bloggers it translates because A and B and why did A fight B and why didn't they take drug tests, etc. You don't get that. But for pure entertainment, go to a top rank show, watch this show on pay-per-view and you will be entertained as never before, and you will also see great fights. Because that's important for the future of this sport. And that's why a lot of the future of this sport is based on how well we at Top Rank are doing in Asia. Because you cannot be a major sport. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> you can't you can't be a a major sport anymore unless you translate that sport to China, all the Asian markets, because the world is becoming smaller and it's becoming more inclusive. That's why the NBA is trying so hard to get involved in China. And that's why Major League Baseball is doing the same. And so we in boxing are doing that as well. So you'll all have the experience of watching it on pay-per-view in the normal way. But if you can, come over to Macau and see what's happening in this part of the world uh, in person. Now for the press here, and just for the press. So here, our world traveler from Kansas, where he started, to Oxnard, to China, and now back to China in New York. This is like the Wizard of Oz, right? Dorothy, Brandon Rios. Hello, hello, good afternoon. First of all, I want to say thanks to Top Rank for the wonderful trip, like a vacation for me, and also my manager, Cameron Duggan, for being the best manager ever, and also for being a great friend. Uh, the first show was great, man. It, it was a blessing to be in China. I can say I got I got to be in China, and also did some great things in China, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, first of all, I feel I'm ready. I'm going to be, I'm ready to fight, actually. Uh, 
first two have been very, very long. Now the time is not coming. Now I don't really want to fight. I just want to go in the ring and do what I gotta do and come out performing like I always do. Uh, give the fans what they want and show the world that Rio is not done and be the next superstar on the right. And November 23rd, I'm gonna be the next superstar on the right. So I want to say thanks to the press for coming out and here we go for you, here we go for you guys. And todo mexicano, desde para China, mira un pelea va a ser bueno, me vas a pelear por ustedes, me vas a ser un buena pelea. Gracias por ustedes and I'll go for you guys. And, and I'm ready. I'm ready. I just want to say I'm ready. I want to extend this. This has been like the first press conference I've ever been to where nobody talking smack. We just talking to each other. Everybody's been very respectful. So which I appreciate it. I was waiting for it, somebody, but it never happened. So if nobody, if nobody step up, I'm about to step up. So I don't want Because they're going to point the finger at the bad guy. Which is okay with me. But at the end of the day, it's great. And first of all, I want to say your son, Matthews. Um, uh, I said I am uh, a platform, like always, great fan. Thank you guys. And, we're going to bring back. USA, we're going to bring back home, baby. Yeah. He continues to give back to his country. And that's why I'm so darn proud to be able to introduce you to him and to be associated with him. Please welcome the congressman from Sarangaya, Sarangaya in the Philippines. Please welcome and he, and he. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, first, um, I want to thank God for uh, this. Uh, um, to give us uh, a good day and give us strength every day. And I want to thank Bob Allen, a front promotion. It's real. And of course, um, they support us to, uh, to for this uh, event, for this uh, fight in Macau. Uh, it worked with it and uh, China, uh, uh, Sun China, and Venetian Hotel. And of course, uh, it's VOP Review. Thank you so much for all your support. Um, let me tell you something about this fight. I think um, I just Brandon Rios. I didn't pick um, easy opponent because I believe that um, on the last fight, me. Many people thinking are my, my boxing career is end after the last that, the last fight. But I think this um, on the last fight my condition is amazing. Um, my my condition is one of the the best condition in my boxing career. It just happened that when on, on that um, on the six rounds I get um, too careless in, in the fight and too aggressive and become fearless and he got me a, a, a good shot. But if we um, uh, watch again the, the review of the, 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 the fight, my condition is uh, one of the best conditions that I have in, in my fight. So I can say, uh, that's why I, I choose uh, Brandon Rios to, uh, um, he, I know he's a, he's a good fighter. He throws a lot of punches and he's a very aggressive fighter. I choose him because I you know I can be, I believe that he can give a good fight on November 23rd here in America in the party in the Philippines. And it's gonna be more action in the ring and I can prove that I can still fight and I'm not my career, my boxing girl is not done yet. So uh, thank you so much to all of you. Um, I know so, um, some of you are I are you cannot come to uh, Macau because it's far away, but uh, hopefully um, what's in favor of you is going to be a good fight. It's going to be a, um, a memorable fight, especially in China. It's a good chance for us to promote boxing in China because for, uh, it's been a long time that uh, boxing in China, professional boxing in China, they is not allowed, allowed it to, um, to promote there. So this is a good chance and a great opportunity for us to promote boxing, not only in America, but in China. Remember, China is um, there is a 1.4 billion population. So uh, um, someday, if the uh, light boxing, it will be good. It's help a lot. 
it's helped a lot in, in, in boxing in boxing work. So thank you so much to all of you and all the fans. Um, I'll do my best to, to give a good fight and uh, make sure that I'm 100 percent conditioned physically and uh, mentally. And thank you and God bless you all. Yeah money. This side, guys. Guys, right here. Get down. Brandon, look down. Brandon, Brandon. In the front, Brandon. We're getting there. We're getting there. Relax. Simmer down. Brandon. Right here, right here. <laughs>